Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm just going to do a short little reading for you this evening. I want to give a quick message out to all of you who happen to be in Florida, especially in the Southwest region, most particularly in Tampa and all up and down the West Gulf Coast. Uh, my prayers are with you guys. I know that this is a uh, gigantic storm coming in, so I just want to let you know that we are all here thinking about you. We'll be sending prayers, well-being. I hope that you have managed to get out of the uh, storm's path, and uh, we will be here when you get back, okay? All right, Virgo, so let's get into your reading. We're going to take a look at other messages that maybe you need to know for October. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Personal reading link is in the description box below this video. Okay, Virgo, so you're starting with lightning, some shocking information, something coming to light, epiphany, a surprise showing up here in October. Someone is playing their hand at this time, hand of cards. There's a risk, taking a chance, um, being strategic, okay? And yeah, this is about talking. I feel like someone's going to reach out to you, um, take a risk to talk to you. So there is definitely an awaited message arriving here, a text call, email. Um, someone that you don't expect to hear from Virgo. Or uh, you, you're just like, what? <laughs> okay, let's see if we can figure out who this is for Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, well, it's definitely a relationship that has ended. There was maybe betrayal. Uh, some something a relationship that hit rock bottom might have been in a committed relationship or a marriage with someone um, I feel like it could be a Taurus who's showing up here some expectations were held and something fell apart um, maybe somebody was cheating ten of uh, swords yeah always that it's not a good energy okay ten of swords just uh, something ended all right some type of committed relationship or an expectation somebody was let down something ended okay or it went too quick right there's your card virgo virgo taurus capricorn energy could be with another uh another earth sign um looks like maybe you ended something here or you put an end to a relationship and i feel like you did it swiftly just cut cut it cut the cord just done cut it Okay, let's see. Yeah, there's an apology coming in from someone. Or the apologies are going to be made or had. So there's a desire here. Yes, King of Cups energy. You could have a connection with an Earth sign or a Water sign. So there's a King of Cups here who wants to talk to you. Sending a sweet text message. Uh, something along the lines of... It could be an apology. may not be an apology. It could just be... Uh, I love you, I miss you, things like that. Okay, um, I feel like whoever this is, earth sign or water sign, they've had some type of spiritual enlightenment. They've been thinking about this to talk to you. Uh, done a lot of deep reflection. And so this would not be someone who's narcissistic because they don't have that in them. Narcissists don't have it in them to self-reflect. This person is gone in they're isolated they're on well not fully isolated but they're on their own and they're thinking about you especially with that star energy i feel like this um person wants to try to renew uh, is feeling hopeful so yeah you're gonna get a surprise message from this person out of the blue okay it's an offer a financial offer being made as well to you in october um a lot of options here I feel like somebody's asking, this This person is going to ask you, what do you need? What can I contribute? What can I help with? Do you need money? Do you need, maybe even pay you back for something if there's money owed? But this is like, somebody here really wants to, wow. They're trying to bring in like, make some kind of wish come true here for you, Virgo. Whatever you need. I'm, I'm seeing somebody really like making a solid offer. Maybe even for commitment or like engagement. I want to say there's a, there's a token. There's something tangible like a ring or um, like a like a gesture, but a token, something you can hold in your hand to it's like seal the deal. It's it's more than a handshake. You know what I'm saying? It's more than a handshake. It's like here. Here's collateral. They're just telling me collateral. Okay. So look, here's collateral. Here's my promise to you. 
Okay. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Somebody's had a long talk with their mom or their grandmother or an elder or a female mother figure about future plans. I feel like this person, they've talked uh, with their mother or they've talked with maybe a sister or um, someone that they respect. It's a, it's a, it's a feminine. Someone that they respect. There was a conversation that might have been had about like the the empress energy, the mother that that feminine talking to them. Like, what do, what do you, where do you want to be in five years? What are you looking for? What are you hoping for? There's like some kind of like inspirational conversation gets this person moving towards you, Virgo. Okay, yeah, I feel like any kind of toxic B BS. Uh, this person really facing their shadow side at this time and um, making a necessary transition to get out of some type of toxic. Maybe they were gambling or um, messing around, taking a lot of risks. Is somebody here wanting to settle down, I'm hearing. Okay, let's see. We also have Capricorn energy. You have Taurus again. Okay. And look, if you didn't hear yesterday's reading, go back because I felt like yes, in yesterday's reading, Virgo, you were really like shining. Like I can't even hold this card because you're like, you're on the move. You're really shining. I hope you guys can hear me. I was like facing the wrong way. Um, shining like a star, independent, being on your own. Yep. You cut out a lot of stress out of your life. You reunited with family. You reconnected with other people, uh, building a strong foundation for your life. Yeah, so you're you're definitely out. You've made a transition. You're you've put the past behind you, Virgo. Okay, you have Scorpio energy there. You you just like done with something. Some of you left a, the relationship. You're done. So yeah, you're gonna get a surprise message. What's this message gonna be? I'm struggling. I want to make change. You're my world. What can I do? What can I contribute? I've been selfish. What can I do? I miss you. Okay? You're my... You're everything to me. Wheel of the year. You're my good luck charm. Wow. I'm a fool for you. That's what you're going to hear from this person. At least at some point. It's not a begging. I, like it's, I'm, I'm not seeing like a begging energy. Okay? Okay, okay. I'm not seeing a begging. It's, it's more like... <sighs> Balanced sharing of emotions and feelings and thoughts. Uh, I want to work on this. Teach me, young Padawan. <laughs> Am I even saying that right? Where the hell's that come from? Show me the way. My heart's broken without you, Virgo. I need you in my life. I'm longing for you. Oh my gosh. I've never gotten these kinds of messages from the direct tarot cards. Never. Usually it'll come from like... The hidden truth oracle but i'm feeling it somebody's heartbroken there's also an apology for infidelity or um this person like oh my god i was just gonna say this person loves you they are so in love with you like they really love you i was here never never marry the one that you love marry the one that you're in love with um now i hear that and then i also hear a lot of so if you want to protect your heart marry the one that's in love with you but if you have an open heart marry the one you're in love with not the one you love i don't even know okay let's see what the chinese sign is of this person and or you okay year of the rooster year of the ox year of the rabbit year of the dog year of the horse year of the snake year of the pig and year of the goat Okay, I want to ask, when is this person going to be reaching out to Virgo? Today is October, what is today? The 8th. Okay, give me a second. When is this person going to be reaching out to Virgo? <laughs> I just threw that out there. I didn't mean to. All right. October, they're telling me October, October what? 21st. You're going to hear from, the, you're going to get a message from someone. You're going to get a message on October 21st, Virgo. So mark your calendar. A love message. 
an awaited message arrives. Okay. All right, so birthdays. We have September 3rd. We have uh, September 18th, also the uh, August 23rd. September 20th. We have September 1st and the 6th. And we have August 28th. And we have September 9th. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Hold on. I feel like I'm missing. Okay. Someone is age 40. We have 1965 or age 65. 60, uh, age 67 or 1967. Age 52. 1977. Age 38. 57. And 1985. Also, signs oops, that are showing up. Sagittarius. Significant to you. Uh, we have Capri we have Taurus, sorry, and Libra, Gemini, and Libra again. Okay, I'm hearing the name Tori. They're giving me Tori, 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 Tori. Okay, Babe or Bobby or Baba, 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 Baba. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Is there any other names you want to give Virgo? Any other names for Virgo? CJ is coming up for me. So we have an R name. We have a Roth. Last name is Roth. We have Robert. Roberts. Okay. Uh, Marianne. Meg. Okay. All right, and let me get your charms. Yes, this is a very short reading tonight, you guys. Um, I actually have company coming, and I didn't get to do this until very late. Um, sorry. All right. I'm going to give you two charms here. You have a Hamsa, and you have what I would call... Oh! You just said get that. You have forever... Always and forever. Um, mm, this is how somebody feels about you, Virgo. That you will forever be theirs. Forever your girl. Forever your guy. <laughs> Little Paula Abdul action there. There you go. Can you see it? Forever. Forever and ever. Somebody feels that way about you. You will forever be entwined. Hearts entwined. All right. You have a Hamsa for protection, Virgo. Okay, so maybe you have that somewhere, the Hamsa hand, or you practice, I don't know, is that Hinduism or something like that? The Hamsa is for protection. So you are divinely guided and protected, Virgo, and you also have the infinity symbol. What comes around, goes around, okay? You might have that. I have that tattooed on my foot, y'all. Um, but so maybe you have a tattoo of this, the infinity symbol. This is like some a cycling of energy, a recycling. This is karma. Coming back around again. Also, somebody's birthday is on the 8th. All right, Virgo. I know that's short. Forgive me. If you are in the Florida area, you're able to catch this. I hope that um, you are able to catch it and that you're busy packing and getting out of Dodge. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. If you guys want a personal reading, again, the link is in the description box below. I will see you all back here tomorrow for the mods. Um, I think we have a couple of mods who are in the Florida area. If you're not going to be here, don't worry about it. It's totally understandable. I will see you guys. We'll be here when you get back. All right, love you. Bye. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us